Today, we will talk about sunlight and seasons, and later we will take a virtual hike to look for some signs of the season we are in now. Every year our planet goes through four seasons. Can anyone name one of those seasons? The four seasons are fall, winter, spring, and summer. The Earth moves around the sun. A full trip around the sun will take one year. It moves in a slightly tilted position, which is what gives us seasons. Because as the Earth moves, different parts of the Earth are closer or further away from the sun. Being closer or further away from the sun will change the temperature and how much sun is out during the day. The temperature and the length of day will tell us what season we are in. In the summer, the weather is warm and the trees have full green leaves and the days are long. In the fall, the weather gets cooler. The leaves on the trees change color and fall to the ground and the days get shorter. In the winter, the weather is cold, the trees are bare, and the time when it is sunny during the day is really short. Finally, in the spring, the weather turns warmer, the trees start budding out new leaves, and the sun stays out longer. Can you guess where the Earth is in each season? Well, if we are closer to the sun, we are in the summer, and if we are further away from the sun, we are in the winter. What is your favorite season? Do you know what season we are in right now? It is April, so the season we are currently in is spring. Many exciting things are happening in spring as nature is just waking up from a long winter's nap. Now, let's go on a virtual hike to look for some signs of spring. Spring flowers are one of the first signs of spring. These are daffodils. These flowers grow from bulbs. Bulbs are a big storage organ that contains plenty of energy. The energy that is stored in the bulb helps them grow fast when conditions are just right in the spring, which is why these are some of the first flowers you see. Other flowers that are popping up are on the forest floor. This is a weird place to find a flower normally because the forest floor has a lot of shade and plants need sunlight. This is wild phlox and later yellow trout lily. These flowers take advantage of a rare time in spring when trees are bare so sunlight is still hitting the forest floor and temperatures are warm enough for them to grow. Birds are being really loud this time of year. Have you heard a lot of birds? Springtime for birds is a very important time. They are finding mates, making nests, and laying eggs. This takes a lot of communication. It's a good thing bird chirps are a welcome sound of spring. Springtime helps some animals wake up. Reptiles like turtles and snakes are ectotherms or cold-blooded, which means they rely on the temperature outside to control their own body temperatures. In the winter, they are forced to hibernate and find a warm spot to wait out the cold. However, the warmth and length of day in spring signals them to wake up. You may see reptiles basking in sunny areas trying to get warm. Look closely at trees this time of year. You may see what we call buds, or maybe even tiny leaves just beginning to grow. The warmth of spring also signals trees and plants to start growing again. These buds are the new growth for this year and will develop into a flower or a leaf. You know spring is here when you hear the buzzing of our pollinators. Bees and butterflies are getting their fill of nectar from the newly emerging flowers. We call them pollinators because while they are going from flower to flower sucking up nectar, they're also spreading pollen from different flowers, which helps flowers grow new seeds. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned some new things. Remember to stay safe and healthy and we will see you next time.